One of the things you're probably going to want to feel when you're outside is a little bit more of the comforts of home. Be that during an emergency situation or even just camping out with your friends on a weekend. Today I'm bringing you a product that can bring you that just that. This is the Tinya Ultralight Backpacking Camp Chair. Alright everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to do this review kind of in reverse. Normally I would explain a product to you and then demo it. Today we're going to demo it and set it up and then I'll explain it to you. Because I want you to see the chair actually after it's been assembled so we can go through the points that I like about it. The first point I like about it is it's affordable. I've been looking for something like this for a while now. You know, um, for me personally, this isn't going to be emergency gear unless of course I'm operating ham radio in an emergency. But it's going to be more for when we do events, and uh, we have our simulated emergency test coming up soon, so we're going to be uh, outside working with that. And uh, it's going to be set up on the side of the road somewhere, maybe with my portable, you know, ham radio gear. Maybe it's going to be set up in the mountains. Who knows? Regardless, it's really convenient to have a chair with you. Um, yeah, you can sit on the ground in the dirt with your radios in the dirt and, you know, play around, but something like this makes it a little bit easier, a little more convenient. I have tested this. I do like it. It's very, very comfortable. Um, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to point it down here on our floor in this room here uh, because it's very, very windy outside. We're having like a really high wind day, like 60, 70 mile an hour gusts. You wouldn't hear me if I did it outside over the, uh, over the wind. So we're going to set it up right here and uh, then I'll get into the finer points of it and give you some information on it. All right, so I hope this is bright enough for you, but I figured this is a good idea to demo this first and then show you everything inside. So the first thing I'm going to do... Super ultra lightweight. I think it's under two pounds. Uh, you're going to open this up. You've got your chair cover right here. Folds up fairly simply. And then you got this mess of tubes here. <laughs> Don't worry. This all has a purpose. It all goes together fairly easily. you got a little Velcro strap on them. And what you're going to do with this is just snap all these tubes right into their place. Most of them will snap together, as you saw, just on their own. You know, a lot of them will just fall and fall into place like these are. So, fairly simple setup. I'm doing the top here now. I know you can't see it, but we'll, uh, we'll show it to you. Fairly simple setup. Um, these are, of course, we're gonna spin this around. And these are gonna be your feet. I like these feet. We'll talk about those later. Nice, big, grippy feet. And this is gonna be your setup. Now, I'm gonna back up the camera a little bit. There you go. That's gonna be the top where your mesh goes. And this is gonna be the bottom where the seat part goes down here. So, let me put that on for you. You're going to unfold it like this. Now, they say to do the top first. This is very deceiving at first. You'll think, there's no way this is going to fit on here. It fits on. Trust me. They say to do the top first. You'll want the mesh on top for the breathability factor there. Okay? And these have little uh, pockets up top here. If I can get them to work now that I'm on camera. <laughs> See? The little pockets there. And that's where your tubes are going to fit. Your aluminum rods. Okay? You're just going to slide it in there. And on the bottom here, now this is where it could be a little tricky. Um, you're going to kind of do a little bit of both. You're going to bring one to the other, like that, whoop, like that, and get in there. And I know it looks like I'm killing myself here, but I'm really not. Just at a weird angle with the, uh, with the camera. And there you go. You do the other side. All right. The last one was a little bit difficult to get in there, but you see... Works pretty well. Now I'm going to lift up the camera so I can give you a view of what this looks like. Okay. From the top, we're going to back out a little bit here. And I can let you see. Now the amazing thing is, you wouldn't think this would be all that stable. But this thing is built like a tank. You know, it's really, really stable. Uh, the weight limit, they say, is 230. Uh, I'm about 224. I had no problem sitting in this. Uh, for those of you taller folks or anybody heavier, they make bigger, you know, more sturdy chairs. But for the weight on this thing, that's just amazing. So let's get it up on the table, and we'll talk about the points of it. Now, because it's hard to display this up here, I'm going to have to bring this up a little bit and move the camera around a little bit. But as you can see, this is a really nice-looking chair. I'll let you see everything from the top to the bottom there. And they want you, generally by the description in the picture, they want you to, you know, put your little uh, case. You can wrap your case around in there and hold it there. Um, one of the things, the first thing we noticed, because I've had some of these in the past, is this has some nice breathable mesh on it, on the sides. 
so it's kind of sweat proof netting some of these can get really really hot in the summer especially where I'm at if you sit in them for long periods of time so that's kind of a nice feature another thing is the, the uh, legs I like these uh, non-slip legs I put these on rocks okay and I had to give you an extra one here so we'll bring it up close I put these on rocks and they have not slid they kind of just plop into their place and stay there they don't flop around it's not all uneven and and wobbling so it's definitely a good deal they do give you another carabiner clip I don't know why maybe it's for the bag I assume but um, all that so far is pretty good the joints are very well connected as you saw when we were setting it up they really snap right into place very aggressively this is very very sturdy stuff um, as I said I could fit in this and sit in this fine no problem nothing's wobbling around I'll give you a quick little look around on it so you can kind of see everything and I do apologize for having I really do need to get a taller tripod <laughs> because when I have a big item like this that I want to display it's kind of hard to but you get an idea how um, how this thing works and you know all in all that's a pretty darn good deal I believe these run about uh, $29.99 at the current time of this video so you figure that's 30 bucks and you got yourself a decent little camp chair now the material is a 900 D high density stretch Oxford fabric so it definitely feels waterproof I'm not worried about it getting wet and it definitely feels sturdy um, one of the things you, you saw when I was setting up the bottom was it took a little bit of a tug to get all that stuff on there and that's fine I want it to be as sturdy as possible and tight because I want it to stay in place when I put it down so let me put the camera down here and I will do a quick breakdown of it I'll break down the, uh, the thing itself now you're obviously not going to be able to see the top because I'm not going to hold it and break it down at the same time what we're going to do really quick here is pop off one side, pop off the other pull that and pull that there's your chair you can fold that up right there real simple I'm going to fold it up off camera because I'm making a mess of it <laughs> there we go Okay, so that's all folded up and it doesn't need to be any special way it just goes together any old way you can fold it up as long as it's sitting there. What you want to do with these is take them and put them down. Okay? So you push them all down, and this one here, you see it's double. So you're going to try and keep them as orderly as possible, not like I'm doing. <laughs> there you go. I want to try and kind of spin them around so I can get that uh, Velcro around it neatly. I don't want to have the Velcro all with stuff everywhere. And there you go. The chair is broken down. It's that simple. Really, really easy to do. I'm just making it look neat for my uh, my packaging. But it's really easy to do, as you saw there. It's actually easier to break it down than to set it up. And setting it up was super easy. So really can't complain either way. And there you go. You got your Velcro around that. And I might want to make these a little straighter and, you know, more lined up and linear when I put them back in the bag. But that's your chair right there. This is your bag, whole thing, super ultra lightweight. It's less than two, it's only two pounds. It's a little under for me when I tried it, um, like 1.98, so two pounds we'll say. The size unfolded is 22.6 inches by 21.3 inches by 26.3 inches. And it's a really good size because I noticed when sitting in it, it's not too tall, but it's not like those camp chairs that think you want to sit inches off the ground either. It's just enough high and low to um, to make it comfortable for you. So that is the video for today. That is the Tinya Ultralight Backpacking Camp Chair. Um, I looked for one that was affordable, yet was lightweight and didn't look like it was chintzy junk. And this definitely fit the bill. It is really, really nice feeling. Uh, doesn't feel like garbage. It has that quality feel like when you buy an ultralight tent and it has that nice quality feel. These are nice and sturdy. You're not gonna worry about these bending on you. And uh, for the price range and the size and all that, this is a perfect option for somebody looking for one of these. You know, for either be it camp, your emergency gear, if you're a ham radio operator like me and you can be told, set up over there in that corner, <laughs> you know, now you got a chair. So it's really handy to have. Anyway, folks, I will put a link down below in my Amazon affiliate store to this. You can check it out there. If I forgot any of the details on it, it'll give you all the details there. And you can check out the price. Like I said, they're $30, bucks, 29 99 the making of this video currently. That's the price of them. And uh, they're really comfortable to sit in. i got to say, I've sat in this for a little while. I did a video a while back where I was cooking outside. and um, Or making coffee, I forget. 
And this was a really comfortable chair to do it in. I didn't feel like I was sitting too far back. You know how you're always feeling like you're leaned back into something or you're really, really low to the ground and you're reaching up all the time trying to work. Really comfortable, just the right height and size. Definitely a good deal for the price. So I will put the link down below. Check out our Amazon store. If there's stuff in there you don't like, you don't want to shop in it, just click the link and shop as you normally would. Don't forget to check out our preparewithiridium.com link. That is our food for patriots link. The food is in stock. They're ready to ship it. So check it out. You're going to save 100 bucks on a four-week package. And you can save even more on a two-week package. They got the food in stock. may take a little bit to ship it to you, but it's not going to be super long. I know we're having some issues with Thrive right now where their food's in and out of stock almost instantly. They'll stock something up and people will order it and it's gone. And you can check that out too if you check out my Thrive Life page down below. Um, you go to the top line there where it says to check the inventory of items. Click here. You'll click that link and you will see everything that's in stock or not in stock. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.